Well, I figure it's time I give a little tour of our little campground here in Georgia. We stopped here last night, spent the night. We're going to spend another night tonight. There's our little, my little van and the big van behind me with her little tow long. Beautiful park. Beautiful park. There's not many campsites here, maybe eight, maybe a couple more, I'm not sure. But there's a picnic area also. And over here, I believe that's what they call a hydro dam. It's definitely a dam, that's for sure. It's quite large, probably the largest one I've ever seen. And of course, there's a lake up above it, and down below there's a river. People go fishing, they got some boats out there. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a little tour. I gotta go find the men's room. I looked for it earlier and could not find it, so I had to see the uh, attendee that drives around here, the guy that looks after the place, or the security, I guess they're called. So he told me where it was. Anyways, I will take a little tour and I'll bring you along with me. Now I did break my tripod, so hopefully I don't make this too shaky. And hopefully you can hear me okay. Got some new campers just pulled in there today. A lot of rocks here, I guess about three weeks ago, they had a major flood here in the park. But it's a beautiful spot. There's a fellow over there in a tent. Saw him head out to go fishing earlier. Another fellow just pulled in over there. Or a couple, whatever they are. Anyways. Go up here and check out the picnic area. So here's the picnic area. Actually, this is still a camp site right here. These two spots. Beyond the fence there is a picnic area. Nice and shady over this way. A lot of tall trees here. A lot of moss. At least that's what they call it. I think they call it moss that grows in these trees. That's what somebody told me before. Here's the boat ramp down here. So if you want to go fishing, you just put your boat in the water, park your vehicle over there, I believe. Anyways, in search of the washroom. Quite a ways up, but I need the exercise, so that's okay. Now, as I get closer, I can hear the, uh, I can hear the uh, water coming down at the dam, but I'm not there yet. Nice little park, that's for sure. And normally I would have my face in this video, but uh, since I don't have my tripod, it's a little more difficult. Every time I try to turn the phone around, I don't do a good job at making a video, so. I may have to leave my face out for the next few videos until I get myself a new tripod, which hopefully I'll find one tomorrow. I did stop at Walmart and look, but they didn't have what I needed, so. Anyways, if you look straight up ahead there, that blue building up there is apparently the washroom. And that looks like quite the walk up. And there is the dam. I'll get a little bit closer so you can get a better look at it. Hopefully the sun's not going to ruin this video. Now, if you look at that blue building where it is, you can see that's quite the hike up there. It doesn't even look like stairs. It looks like a ramp on the bottom part and then stairs on the top part. So that's going to be a little hard on my legs, my old legs, but got to do what you got to do. I could just use the washroom in my van, but I thought I'd come up here and check out this one instead. Now there are some vehicles parked here. So well, they're probably down there fishing. Let's go have a look, see. There's another angle of the climbing stair, whatever you want to call it. I have to go up to use the washroom. And here's a shot of the dam. 
Like I said, I've never seen a dam this large before, but I'm sure there's many out there. I'll get a little bit closer to the water so you can have a good look. How's the fishing today? Good. Is it? Awesome. Have a look at this. Quite impressive. I've never seen one so big. Like I said, a few weeks ago, I guess they had a major flood because they had a lot of rain a couple hours north. And by the time we got down here, it just flooded this whole area. I didn't bring my fishing pole, unfortunately, so I cannot fish. And I'm sure you have to have a license for this. Here down in Georgia. Oh yeah, let's go we'll see if I can get up that uh, weird walkway to use the facilities. Yeah, somebody's having some luck with the fishing. Cool. Okay, let's get over here. Start this climb. I'm sure it's gonna be hard on my legs, but I can always use the exercise. Be good for me. Ah, it doesn't look that difficult. Okay, here we go. I'm taking you with me. Once I get up there, of course, I will. Oh yeah, good thing there's railings because this is definitely gonna be hard on my legs and my back. Oh, wait till Brenda sees this. She may not use the washroom here. Holy moly. Oh yeah. I don't know what the handicapped people would do. Oh, wow, that's hard on the legs. For an old fellow like me. Uh, now there's a sign there, a sign there saying restrooms closed. So I asked the uh, guy that drives around what that's all about. And I guess that means when the gate is slid over, then the restroom is closed, but as long as the gate's open, the restrooms are open. Oh, well, that was the hard part. Now here's some stairs. And it'll be a lot easier going down, that's for sure. Hopefully there's nobody in the washroom. I wouldn't want to put them on video. If I do, I'll have to delete them. Let's have a look. Oh, here's inside the uh, hydro plant. Or whatever you call it. I don't see a light. Oh, light switch. Here's the washroom. I have a couple of toilets. No doors, so you definitely want to Lock the doors when you're in here. That sink has seen better days. And of course, the old good old urinal. And a stand-up shower. Looks like it's been here for a while. Anyways, this is it. I'll be back. Gotta do my business. Hopefully you can see my face here this time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I'll end the video here now and do another one a little bit later tonight when I get the fire going. Thanks again. Bye for now.